This is one of the most venerated places in all of Italy, one of the fourth major basilica, and it was here that you had the tombs of the early Christians because Padova was a very important Roman uh, town, and it was here that uh, Santa Justina was uh, martyred, and it's why you have this the construction of this basilica. Justina was a Christian noblewoman, and she was uh, she was asked to come to the emperor to renounce her Christianity. Justina didn't accept this uh, diktat, if you like, or this request from the emperor, so she was killed by a sword piercing her breast. So she was uh, she was buried in this basilica. This was constructed in the same period as St. Peter's was constructed in Rome. Now we're coming to see the tomb of St. Luke. So as you can see, there's lots of work, restoration work going on, but of course you can see the sarcophagus, it's not affected. It's a sarcophagus from 1315. This was opened up from, from 1998 until 2001. 20 specialists came here to make specific ex examinations on the remains of the saint. So with all the examinations, uh, they found that these were coming from the first century after Christ okay. and in the time when Luke lived. And so I think it's incredibly significant that we get to come here and visit the tomb, the relics of our namesake, the one who leads the way for us, setting the example of sharing God's love and bringing hope to the world. Almighty God, we are so grateful to be in such a beautiful place, in such a holy and sacred place. We are grateful for this opportunity to take this pilgrimage with our family of faith and be able to come and stand here in this place to, to remember St. Luke, to remember the impact that he left on our world, the ways that he brought healing and hope to the lives of others, the ways that he committed his life to sharing the gospel message of your love and your amazing grace. We pray that you would fill us with your grace now, that you would lead us by your love back out into the world so that we might be used by you to share your love and bring hope to all. It is in your name that we pray, amen.